Good morning. Paul here. I'm in the Clare Valley and uh, I'm in the vineyard where they grow lots of grapes and make lots of wine from these grapes. And this, this particular vine has got a lot of crop on it. Good red grapes, so they're going to make some red wine out of this. Um, and I thought I'd read with you this morning from John chapter 15 where Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it, so that it will be even more, bear even more fruit. And I can see where the, the, the vines have been pruned through the last year. Some of the dead branches are on the ground. Verse 3, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he's like the branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. That's from John 15, verses 1 to 8. And how true it is, we need to remain in the vine, we need to be plugged in to what our Lord is telling us to do. We put his words in our mouth, we've got to abide in the vine and have his words abide in us so that we can bear fruit in our walk through life as we proceed uh, from day to day. So there's a little meditation for you from the vineyards here in the Clear Valley. Wishing you a great day and we will talk to you again soon. See you later.